Does your mind wander during sex? Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I think many people experience but don't really talk about. Mind wandering during sex. You're in the moment with your partner. Things are getting hot and heavy, but then suddenly you find your mind drifting to random thoughts like I need to do the laundry or what should I make for dinner tonight? Even though sex is supposed to be this immersive experience, it's pretty common for our minds to just check out without us even realizing it. In this video, I want to explore why this happens, if it's normal, and some tips to help stay present and engaged during sex. Let's get into it. Why it happens. First off, know that it's completely normal and common for your mind to wander during sex. Our minds are conditioned to multitask and be thinking of different things all the time. Plus, there are biological reasons too. One reason is that dopamine levels actually decrease during the plateau stage of sex. Dopamine is tied to motivation and focus. So when it drops, our minds are more likely to drift. Estrogen levels also increase during sex which activates parts of the brain involved in memory formation. This can trigger random memories to bubble up. So the neurochemistry of sex itself can make mind wandering more likely to occur. Your brain is essentially pulled between being present and being reflective slash wandering. Mind wandering and gender. Now research has shown that there are some gender differences when it comes to mind wandering during sex. One study found that men reported mind wandering 30% of the time during sex, whereas women reported mind wandering only 10% of the time. This could be because men are more able to compartmentalize sex and separate it from emotion and intimacy. Women tend to have more interconnected brain wiring when it comes to sex and intimacy. So men may find it easier to detach in the moment. But keep in mind these are general trends. Mind wandering can happen to anyone. Benefits of mind wandering. Believe it or not, there may actually be some benefits to your mind occasionally checking out during sex. It can act as a way for your brain to regulate excitement and arousal so that you don't reach pleasure too quickly. Juning out for a bit can help delay things. Letting your mind wander can also enhance creativity. If you're not 100% focused on the sensations, it allows different ideas and connections to form. This sparks creativity, which can actually enhance the experience. Occasional mind wandering is also a sign that you feel comfortable and safe enough with your partner to not have to constantly be engaged. It shows a level of ease and intimacy in the relationship. So in moderation, mind wandering during sex can be beneficial. The key is not letting it happen all the time to where it damages the connection. Is mind wandering bad? Generally speaking, mind wandering during sex is totally normal. But when it becomes excessive or distracting, it can start to negatively impact things. If you find your mind is wandering like 70 to 80% of the time during sex, that's likely too much. Some signs it's become a problem. You're regularly losing your arousal because you're so in your head. You feel emotionally disconnected from your partner afterwards. You're having trouble orgasming due to lack of focus. Your partner can tell you're not present. When mind wandering gets to the point that it's interfering with sexual pleasure and intimacy, then it's time to rein it back in. Tips to be more present. If you want to work on staying more engaged and present during sex, here are some tips. 1. Set the mood. Turn off your phone. Play some music. Light candles. Removing distractions and setting a vibe makes it easier to stay connected. Two. Engage all your senses. Notice the tastes, smells, sights, touches, and sounds during sex. Using all your senses activates your brain. 3. Breathe. Take some deep belly breaths, in through your nose and out through your mouth. This helps anchor you in the moment. 4. Make eye contact. Gaze into your partner's eyes. 
Seeing them helps you connect, but don't stare intensely the whole time. Five, focus on sensations. Zero in on the physical feelings and pleasure happening in your body. Tune into these sensations. Six, stay vocal. Moan, say your partner's name. Give verbal feedback. This engages your mind. Seven, be proactive. Take an active role in lovemaking. Don't go on autopilot. Move your body and engage. Eight, avoid numbing. Don't overdo alcohol or substances that can numb your awareness. You want your senses sharp. Nine, address concerns. If you haven't resolved issues in the relationship, your mind may obsess on those during sex. Discuss things openly. 10. Go slow. Rushing through sex can cause your mind to disengage. Slow everything down and take your time with foreplay and sex. 11. Focus on every kiss, caress, and sensation. 12. Be intentional. Intentionally direct your thoughts back to your partner's body and the sensations you're experiencing together whenever your mind starts to drift. 13. Verbalize. Tell your partner what you're enjoying in the moment and what you want to do next. Put your desires and pleasures into words to engage your mind. If you find your mind wandering, gently bring your focus back to your partner and the pleasure. With practice, staying present gets easier. In conclusion, to sum up, it's completely normal for your mind to occasionally wander during sex. Biological factors and gender differences can influence this. In moderation, mind wandering can have some benefits too. But if it's happening to the point of regularly interfering with sexual pleasure and intimacy, then it's time to work on being more present. I hope this video shed some light on why mind wandering happens during sex and provided some useful tips for staying focused on the fun. Let me know if you have any other techniques that have helped you stay present in the bedroom. Thanks so much for watching.